Battle away. Coluccio, Porter, Hiltbrand, Sadiavi, Hoggard, Munner, Millel, Shepard, Sizov, Artemanov, Aski and Cabaru from Flusha, Ferrati, Mini and Dufek, Yanker, Barnard, Pearls and Fonteca. That's better. Away we go. And Porter's going to try and come around the outside. Hiltbrand to the inside of Porter. He takes over pole position for the moment. More Porter is going to hold it. And Hiltbrand's going to go for the lead on Coluccio. He's not going to get there. But Coluccio absolutely determined to hold Hiltbrand at bay. Hiltbrand trying to get there on the inside line. Porter still in third, fourth position. That is a very fast starting Nikhil Hoggard. And Pedro Hiltbrand leads the way from Hoggard, Sadiavi, Porter, Sizov, and Coluccio from Kayaski, who's up to seventh place already. Pedro Hiltbrand, although I think Kayaski has just moved up into fifth position. So Kayaski, the Brit, has come through. Battling away for position, there is Kayaski, having moved his way to P5, and also up goes Loris Cabarro. So Cabarro gets past Morgan Porter into sixth position. Looking more and more likely it's going to be Pedro Hilfrand starting in pole position then. The interim leader last night was Morgan Porter, but it looks as though it's going to be Pedro Hilfrand, despite being overtaken by Kayaski. All he's got to do in this race is beat Porter, and he will essentially be at the front of the grid, provided that some of the other drivers in the field haven't scored better in their heats. So it's not guaranteed, but it's quite likely it's going to be between Hiltbrand and Porter for pole position. Sizov has now taken the lead. So Sizov has got through on Hoggard. And Alexei Sizov versus Mikhail Hoggard is now the battle for the victory. But Mikhail Hoggard has got uh, a little bit less uh, height to carry around the circuit. There's Kayaski making his way through on the inside of Franzino Sadiavi. Alexei Sizov, you can see there, one of the taller drivers in this category, the Russian. And Mikhail's yeah, yeah. just got past Luigi Coluccio, I think. We go down the back straight. Yes, indeed. Hannes Janka is now up into ninth place. The European champion, the 101, is moving his way forward onto the back of Luigi Coluccio. So Coluccio is now uh, behind Hannes Janka. He's managed to make his way through, we're told. So Sizov leads the way from Kai Aski now up to second place. And Kai Aski wants a piece of Sizov up front. Kai Aski only just recently broken into the seniors. There he is. And having switched teams for his campaign in seniors to the Kart Republic squad, Kai Aski has settled in very well indeed in second place, the 122. And now he is trying his best to close up on Sizov, but he's got pressure from Hoggard and Cabaru behind. And Fonteca, the Spaniard, is there in fifth position. He's making a great comeback as well. So let's see where Fonteca is going to uh, emerge from this race as well, because he's in fifth position at the moment, Arto Fonteca, the 136 as Hoggard and Cabaru are battling away for third and fourth position. So Aski trying to get away from Hoggard and Cabaru. Where's Fonteca? There he is. So Fonteca is making big gains. Here they come. Sizov with Kai Aski chasing him down. And they've got two laps to go here. So Kai Aski has got more than enough time to deal with the race leader. Two to go. Into the first hairpin. Sizov sliding a little bit into that braking zone for the first hairpin as Kai Aski runs in behind the Russian. So Sizov, Aski, Cabaru, Fonteca, Hoygaard, Janka, Sadiavi and Hiltbrand. Alexei Sizov, sixth in last year's European Championship, trying to hang on in front of Kai Aski. And as Janka, now to P6, sets the new fastest lap, and that was with that overtake on Hiltbrand. Very impressive indeed. So is Kai Aski going to have enough time to close up on Alexei Sizov and make the overtaking move? They come out of the left-hand hairpin, back on the power, down the short stretch, towards the chicane in front of the grandstand, and Sizov is being hunted down by Kai Aski. But is there enough time for Kai to get the move done, or will second place be enough for him? Into the final hairpin, Sizov is working hard as they go down the main straight and begin the final lap, the last lap of racing before the finals. And Sizov hanging on in front of Kai Aski. Third place is Cabaru. Then it's Fonteca, Hoggard, Hannes Janka, Sadiavi, Hiltbrand, Millel, and Morgan Porter in front of Kobe Powell's and Josh Dufek. So is there going to be a charge from Kai Aski? He's got to time this right. It's not going to be easy on the back of Alexei Sizov. Down the back straight. He's not quite close enough yet, but he may get a chance into the final hairpin. And Kai Aski will want a decent result here. He can't afford to take too big a risk. But if he feels that the move is on, you could bet he's going to go for it. Out of the hairpin. Sizov is on a qualifying lap to try and get away. And he's only going to get one chance now, Kai Aski. He needs to nail the chicane. He needs to get it absolutely spot on. Sizov on the curbs. There could be a chance. And there's going to be one last bid for Kai Aski. Sizov defends on the inside. Aski's got a faster line out of the turn. It's going to be close, but it's going to be Sizov. It just gets there. Oh, that was close. If the finish line had been a few meters down the road, 
That would have been Kayaski who took the victory. What a finish. What a brilliant end to the race. 0 0.045 is the gap at the line. So Alexei Sizov wins it from Kayaski and Loris Cabarro. Arton Fonteca in fourth. The top four drivers managing to gain at least eight places each with Mikhail Hogard in fifth position. Hannes Janka fights back to sixth, making up 11 places in the process. Pedro Hildbrand, though, crucially in seventh ahead of Morgan Porter. That could be very crucial come the grid for the final. So there's Alexei Sizov in first from Kayaski and Loris Cabaru, Arton Fonteca and Mikhail Hogard, from Hannes Janka and Pedro Hildbrand, Franz Emil and Noah Millel. Kobe Powell's in 10th ahead of Morgan Porter. Josh Dufek fights back to 12th place in front of Luigi Coluccio in 13th. Then Oli Petteri Muna, Frank Shepard and Jason Ferrati. Then Lorenzo Fluscher and Gabriele Mini from Thomas Nepvu and Nikita Artemanov. Taylor Barnard and Chen Yuhan from Reese Vivadet and Oliver Goethe. They all finished the race and they were only separated by 15 seconds. That's how great the racing is in the OK Senior category in the FAA Karting European Championships. Well, there's only two races to go now today, folks, and that 